global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Global Happenings Today YouTube channel. When they told Peter Obi, the Labour Party flag bearer for presidency, that he should go to court, little did those who told him to go to court knew that he was more than prepared for even any other eventualities that will take place. Well, there have been so many final written addresses coming up. Of course, if you've not checked, if you don't know, check our playlist. You get to see the replies and responses made by Peter of the Labour Party on Bola Metunubu Shetima's written uh, uh, final written address, on APC final written address, and on, on INEC final written ad address. All of them properly answered. But there's also an agenda flowing now that Obi that immediate team have decided to arrest once and for all. And to make matters interesting, there have been a lot of stories about the issue of domination in Shetima that it doesn't hold water. In fact, that if that is to hold water, then Peter Obi will not even be seen as a flag bearer for, for Labour Party. You're going to get to see the constitution where Labour Party lawyer quoted and they came with their strong proof. These guys, they came giddy bad. They are ready to claim back the mandate. But the question now is, what will be that verdict? All eyes and data on the judicial. But before we go into the newspaper to find out what will be that media team, Labour Party, Peter Obis media team are doing right now, we'd like to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the right subscribe button beside it to see that notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on YouTube. Well, according to the news, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the February 25th, 2023 election, Peter B. remains the phenomenal political leader of a contemporary Nigeria that all good heads wants to hog, but that <laughs> devious ones want to demarket, tarnish, and if possible, destroy. As Obi's pro political profile continues to soar among Nigerians at home and in the diaspora, the envy, the anger against him by those envious of his positive attributes continue to rise. Obi Dati Media Office has noted how a worried ruling all progressive Congress, APC, and his presidential candidate, Bola Ahmed Tunubu, are even wishing and pleading with the presidential election petition tribunal, PEPC, to consider pairing them with a two of the PDP instead of OB and in fact wants OB disqualified outrightly and be prevented from participating in the rerun should there be one. Now, in their desperation to stop Obi at all costs, they have lined up series of untoward activities using rope troll agents that seek to portray him negatively and conspicuously uh, mis represent him in public space. Now, the latest mechanization is the production of a fake Sunday's edition of a newspaper this day of July 23rd, 2023, which they are circulating and purporting in their mischievous lead story that will be granted an interview, which they caption as him saying, Tunubu won, but disqualify him and set a rerun between Atiku and I. Haba. <laughs> Let's continue. Now, the, the, the devilish art is, uh, is to enable them to defend their call that Obi should be disqualified by the PEPC, thus seeking to rerun, thus seeking a rerun between Tunubu and Atiko. Obi that immediately recall that last week the same rock agent had claimed that Obi granted an interview in Arise or on Arise television saying he is willing to take defeat and wait for election in 2023, 2027. Haba. Now, at all this wicked and dubious propaganda is aimed at achieving one mission, to confuse the public, distract and defocus the justices from their statutory responsibilities. We therefore wish to urge the Nigerian public not to be gullible and to disregard this fake publication. Embrace the correct edition with the lead story, Article APC plotting to manipulate judiciary, undermine democracy. They should also watch out for more of this sinister act of desperation orchestrated by a drowning government that is visibly afraid of justice, which must certainly come. This is coming from Obidati Media Team. They came, when I say fully prepared, I mean fully prepared. Well, in another news, very quickly, Nigerians perceive that INEC indeed had what we call ongo. They scored an ongo against themselves. Remember that they have actually finally 
written the final written address of which Peter will be a uh, legal team have responded. Now, somebody said something very quickly before going to the facts and relevant figures where this whole thing came from, from the response made by Peter will be legal team. Now, they said in a bid to lie their way out, APC claimed that Shatima wrote his withdrawal letter on the 6th of July, but the INEC withdrawal from he the INEC withdrawal form he signed is actually on the 15th of July and is attached to the 6th of July letter that was submitted at the election tribunal. Now, this revelation was contained in Peter Obi's final written address to the third and fourth respondent. Let me read it. Now, statement of relevant facts. Prior to the conduct of the presidential election, the third respondent had previously been nominated by the fourth respondent as a senatorial candidate for Brownu Central Senatorial District, and he remained so until 15th of July 2023, 2022. Rather, in paragraph 2.04 of his written address, the first respondent firstly claimed that the fourth respondent by letter dated 6th of July 2022 and received on the 13th of July 2023 brought the voluntary withdrawal of the nomination of the third respondent as a candidate for the Bonus Central Senatorial District to its notice. The notice of withdrawal of a candidate pursuant to Section 331 of the Electoral Act void which the third respondent purportedly withdrew as a candidate for Bronu Central Senatorial District was ex facie received by the first respondent on the 15th of July 2022. The said notice of withdrawal was included in the letter purportedly dated on the 6th of July 2022 written by the third respondent to the national chairman of the fourth respondent which said letter of 6th July 2022 was also ex facie received by the first respondent on the 15th of July 2022. The first respondent statement that it received the letter, the said letter of withdrawal on the 13th of July 2022 is not only false but obviously contrary to the documentary evidence before the court. Ha! The petitioners will show that by subsisting judgment of this court and the Supreme Court, a valid withdrawal of a candidate under the electoral act is consummated on the date the first respondent is notified of such withdrawal. Now, the first respondent in paragraph 22 of his reply to the petition stated as follows. The first respondent avis and shall at the trial content that the withdrawal of a candidate nomination for an election is effective from the date when his notice of withdrawal is conveyed to the first respondent by the political party that nominated him. You now understand, INEC is the first respondent. Uh, um, says uh, APC, uh, APC, sorry, uh, Bola Metinubu Shatima, second APC and all that. Now, with all of this, it's clearly written that that all what Shatima are claiming, or what Shatima is claiming that he had actually uh, withdrawn his um, nomination form before taking uh, taking uh, in the Bola Metinubu vice presidential slot on his for himself they're saying literally that he didn't withdraw that the very moment that effective withdrawal took place was the very moment INEC got it APC signed and give it gave to INEC so which means that one that he just openly did a a press release in as much as it has not gotten to INEC it has he has not been with us which means he, as at the time he was the senator he was still having the form of senatorial, uh, Bromley senatorial, uh, Central Senatorial District. And he has also accepted to be a running mate for Bola Metunibu. He was already double nomination. That's the part they wanted to prove, and they approved it. But the question now is let's get to find out what the verdict will look like. That's what we're going